What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. I'm Zach. I'm Jarek. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay, V. It's okay. For God, bro, you're even here. Where'd you come from? <laughs> We've been missing you. <laughs> hey, I'm Nick. I'm Zach. I'm Jarek. I'm Mary Jane Zamaki. I'm Pete. I'm Julio. I'm Adeus Salazar. If you have that little vibe, y'all seen the picture, y'all seen the thumbnail, y'all know why y'all here. Taeyang Seed. This is your first time here, hit that subscribe button and become a real redeemer today. Right. You, look at you, you almost skipped that shit. Press it. So snacks down. Press that button. Also for content like this, jump on the Patreon. We're getting into the live version of this today and some other exclusive content. How many videos we drop on the Patreon? Damn near 100 a month. Damn. The hottest reactor slash analyst Exclusive. in the world. We out here. Yeah, no long talk. Last stuff that Tay Yang dropped was a banger. Let's jump into this. OG Gen 2 shit. I want to cry. Twice my butt like. <laughs> it's like your chick just left you music. <laughs> He's down bad. He down bad. He said he down bad. That view crazy.
Bro, wait, wait, this is not over me. <laughs> he jumped again. He's new here still, guys. <laughs> yeah. For all of you guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe before he gets into anything he's saying. Jump on the Patreon. We're going to the live version of this and more exclusive to in content. Talk what do you guys think? <laughs> to all you guys in the panel <coughs> At first I wasn't really taking it that serious And then I, st I started <laughs> Analyzing the lyrics And then I was trying to see the visuals too with it What do you guys think he's talking about there? Well he was down bad He was essentially fully dressed walking In the beach by himself with water hitting him So that's a dangerous man to find at night um, <laughs> I think he was talking about God Um mm. Mm. That's serious. That's serious. That. When he talked about the flower blooming, sure, I, I, the whole thing is has to do with life, right? With the creator of life. I, I think he's talking about God here, and I, that's why I fuck so. Because I didn't take oh, it yeah. seriously. Like, what is he talking about? A female? We call, or, we call what's him he heartbroken about? But oh, really? I think he's that's really cute. talking about God. Encyclopedia. It was definitely a shot with the Bible too, which, which kind of gave it like a religious. Feel. Came from the darkness and bloomed like a flower, or something like that. Don't yeah. quote me verbatim, but. What well, God just was just here out of the darkness really? trying to light. And also, when I did see the visual, the light shined on him when he was, uh, <laughs> if you run it back, you'll see it's like, boom. It's like, like earlier here. And it's like an outside scene. It's already lit, but it's like a spotlight hits him. Almost as if God, it was like acknowledging. You can't tell me it's about a girl. Yeah, I'm about to say. It's you think so? I think it's uh, about a thousand percent. No, no, this it's too deep. Too, this is too deep for that. I don't even think love hurt this much. <laughs> he down, he down real bad. Real yeah, bad. He was getting dragged. I was just like, like oh my god. Right. Oh my god. This nigga walking down the street, like, I'll oh, catch a grenade for y'all. <laughs> oh yeah. But nah, the production on this was God tier. Um, I love that this gave me quintessential like 2000s, uh, like, I was about to call it simp music, but um, just <laughs> essentially like a ballad from the early 2000s and stuff. Um, I think the production kind of matches that. Um, I like everything that he was doing here. Um, yeah, like the way, even the way it was shot and everything, kind of just, you know, those desolate roads or on the beach by yourself, those lonely ass shots. Uh, once you hear the piano come on, the so guitar you know, riffs in the background. Mm -hmm. um, this, like I said, this, this felt like an a R&B guy kind of doing like a ballad. It feels like purgatory. Yeah, yeah, they don't hear you. Perfect. Feels like purgatory. That's a good way of putting it too. It's crazy. He said the Bible. You said purgatory. Um, yeah, he fucked me up when he uh, jumped out the car and started dancing and shit. I was God, like, all right, we getting it now. Yeah, I was like, dang. He was like, we getting it now. He started hitting the MJ right here. Very interesting though. I um, I actually love the song though. It, it would be a download for me. Uh, if I had a gripe, I think at the end, I feel like the way the production is set up, you can kind of belt a little bit more and like draw at the end. Um, but you know, maybe that wasn't the stylistic approach he was going for with the production. But typically in these ballads, those kind of when people just kind of throw everything out there and it's just like, ah! like it's almost just like you know, you know what I mean. The movie, they just start kind of ripping, and I feel like at the end he he went in a little bit, but I feel like it was more to be desired. Yeah. But other than that, I, I thought was it was waiting, amazing. I was waiting for something to break out. Other than that, um, it was mediocre for me. I'm not gonna lie. Just the video, all in general, too, it really didn't make any sense to me, but. You're a villain now. Say <laughs> nah. It's like he turned up. Right. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'll be honest. I don't know. That's the part. This was a good song, but I really like wasn't in the mood to hear nothing like this <laughs> deep. <laughs> <laughs> so it kind of like it threw me off a little bit. I didn't bit. know I was <laughs> getting this neither. It was but like. It, right right off. Off. You know what? I uh, I don't think all y'all heard me and shit. I said he dropped two joints. One is with Lisa from Blackpink. So I'm assuming that that's the turn up song, and this is the baller probably. That's probably this how was like, he did it. Damn, I didn't expect this. It was a good song, but it's like going into a party and you hear when I see you, yes, again, like, see you. Again. You're just like, <laughs> like this party popping, but this is the first time I, I got to hear him. <laughs> His, vo <laughs> His vocals definitely were like vocal in. The yeah, scenes were scening, shots were shooting. Yeah, niggas don't play that song on Friday at like 11 p.m. No. <laughs> Except us. Except us. <laughs> it's a true statement. Um, I, I like this. This was cool. Um, I definitely. 
It's supposed to be on this side again. You can see the label. Oh, I see the joint. You see the label? Yeah, I see the label. Okay, because when you go like this, it's not going to pick you up. Oh, all right, so I got to be like this. Oh, like, see me. Um, I like this. This was cool. Um, I love the black and white videos. Um, the shots was what really drew me into this whole thing. Like, I was listening to the lyrics and everything, but the shots really was just God's here. Just, I just felt movie vibes through the whole entire thing. I felt like a, um, a little, like, some shots remind, uh, some shots, like, I, some shots remind me of the movie, um, um, uh, what is mom's favorite movie? It's um, a lot of them. Romantic, what is it called? Where the boy like gets his eye shot. The one where what's his name is playing a Jamaican. Mm, I know that one. Oh, true romance. Oh, true like, romance. Some of the shots remind me of true <laughs> romance, like the, the the shot where he got out and started dancing and everything. I just got true romance vibes. Um, I love love the shot when he's on the beach in the chair. It's just I just felt like felt. I don't know. It felt depressed, depressing, but I, I felt it. Like I liked it. Um, because <laughs> I can relate. To some of those moments of being Wouldn't depressed. But anyway, um, this is a download for me when I'm in the mood to listen to it. Other than that, um, I want to be here more. Yeah, I feel bad because we probably should have went into this kind of thinking it was that because it can be a little jarring if you went in here like, time to turn the fuck up. And it was like, she left me. <laughs> <laughs> this should have been cleaned at like 20 Hold on, go back, go back, go back. <laughs> Far enough, now? Nah, yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Mm-hmm. It's coming up. There we go. <laughs> I saw, I felt Behold, into the felt darkness shall cover the earth. And it just, it hit, oh, yeah, pulled my heartstrings, and I started reading. Oh, like, yeah, I know they cool. What the fuck are you talking about? It's not it's like, how far are you going to do What you do, bro? I'm going to just start reading. I'm just going to walk in your path now. It's not it's like, in a path that guys might. Come on, man. Oh wait, oh, hold up, shit, nah. It's a Bible. I just realized nah, that. but look, look at the time. Look at the <laughs> time. Holy <laughs> crap! I said it. Crack the code. They both say. I both said it. Oh my god, that's even more. He told you when you nah. said the whole joint. He was like, "It's a Bible clip." <laughs> look, look at it. Nah, nah. All right. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon. And his glory shall be. Come on, dog. That's exactly it. The, the top verse. What does it say? <laughs> Arise, shine. When he, what's up, funny? He says, stop I joking around. He says, stop joking around. He like, stop joking around. This is serious. Hold on. The fucking on. last whole reaction. Now you fucking think we give a shit about your opinion? I left 40 seconds. <laughs> Curtis going and shit goes to shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> and shine so for the light. All right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it. I got it. It's um, it's Isaiah sixty one of one to five. All right, yeah, I found it. Cause I'm like, it, you don't show that that page for no reason. Like, what's the reason? You know what the scripture like? What it means? Um, put him on the spot, huh? <laughs> hold on. <laughs> And by the way, we were laughing and having fun, not joking about the song or the MV. I like the song. I like I the song. Well. You love the I song. like it. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna download it. <laughs> <laughs> the only one that hated it was <laughs> right now. Nah, right nah. <laughs> Mediocre doesn't mean you hate it. So we like thought it. you was cute. Like, get the water. Give me the water. We thought you were cute ass. We thought you were cute. So it's like, you lost me. <laughs> You're done. You're fucking done. 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 Where's Kenny? Where's Kenny? Hey, yeah. Who normally sits there? <laughs> <laughs> Switch spots. You find it, Nas? Awesome? Yeah, I found it. I it's he only showed the second verse, which is kind of weird because the first verse is a little bit different. But well, no, because look, he says for sixty one to five, but it, they're only showing the first two verses, mm -hmm. and they're really like like they kind of focused on the second one, so like. I don't know. It's kind of that. It's just weird that you show a Bible clip, and it's like a specific verse, so you know it's not about a chick. So you might be right about the like. You might be like more of a religious standpoint. It's, it's, so it's darkness, darkness cover, cover the, the earth. earth. And gross darkness, the people. But the Lord shall arise, shall arise upon thee, thee, and His glory Why shall be. <laughs> Let me see this. Yeah. It sounded like it. And the Lord. And the Lord said before me. It said, Let Christ still compel you. 
No, listen. You know what? I agree. I agree with Shy because I think this song is about depression, like in a sense too. Like and he's like praying to God, saying like, "Yo, please shine your light on me because I'm lost." <laughs> but then Am I taking your shit? My bad, bro. No. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Am I no, uh, the, but the but the first verse is, is um, it, it it thinks about like the light that you talking about. His verse it says that arise shine. You can see that he's in yeah. The light shine. Arise shine for the light has come and the glory of the Lord is yeah. upon thee. Yeah. yeah, so it might it might be a correlation. Yeah. Yeah. That's a weird verse to show for no reason. They said, fun like, fact, every fucking video. verse on the album has a... Sorry, nah. <laughs> I, I do want someone to jump in the comments and, and explain. Because if you dropped kind of one portion of, like, a part of the book, like, you know, it had to be for a reason. I like that part, but the Lord shall arise upon thee. I feel like it's saying, you know, don't worry, things are going to be okay. Yeah. There is a Lord inside of you. So yes, that's yes exactly, because he does say, yeah. be that flower within my heart, and God is within. It's all about know, flower within your heart. Yeah. Like a, yeah. seed, a seed within your heart? I feel like I got a roll seed, a flower blossoms <laughs> through the darkness. <laughs> you, know, uh, you know, I really enjoyed this song. I thought if I knew how to sing, I would want to sing this, because it's just a, a nice piano um, and vocal uh, song. I feel like this would go hard and... Like karaoke over there in a sad atmosphere. <laughs> you know, depends on the vibe. Um, that's, but that's funny. I would love, because he has such a Sounds good voice. Cool. I didn't really care what the song was about or what he was talking about. He could sing, and I respect that. You know what I mean? When it's just your voice and one instrument doing the work, that's that's cool to me. So shout out to him for that. Yeah, and I, I think, don't know when I would play this. I'm sorry, friends. No, you good. I don't know when I'm I would play it. this. Um, I think I would play this. probably like this is a good like. See, right. either in the morning or like three in the morning, uh, like around those times when you're like, let me settle down and. You could throw this in in your church music. Mm. Yeah, like raining in the car, driving. Mm. Just got Trust me, you could throw this in the yeah. church music. You could. Like, it was raining. There is definitely a time and a place for this. I just don't want to be gonna, in that time or that place. Definitely Christian rap too, or Christian music. It def easily. Yeah, really, just depends what mood you. Like you said, there's really just the mood. I, I actually yeah. thought that, that the second the part of the song, how the build up, <laughs> and once everything, like you were saying, Nick, the whole build up to it is where I start taking it serious. Because in the beginning, I'm like. Like, like you guys were saying, like, I'm not trying to feel this mood right now. Who, like, you crying over a girl? Like, what's going on here? You can't here? run from it forever. But it's, it was a deeper mm. meaning, you know? Exactly. Like, no, I'm like, favorite saying. I'm like. I'm going to get saying. you one day. <laughs> You're going to get tired. That's how it is after the drug. I love that sweater. That shit yeah, drip the white right there. Yeah. yeah. Where is it? Right here? Drip. See-through, John. Yeah, but that's why I said this is definitely like those uh, like those ballads that used to be out like in the he early could have been 2000s. getting baptized. He in the ocean. Whoa, Damn. message deep. Message. Like the ocean. Um, but not nah, Jerk. I do agree with you. His voice was beautiful on here. Um, like I, I think the the reason, especially Julio, why it sounds like minimalistic is just because of like the build up when it's like you literally kind of only have the piano and then they threw the guitar rip in and and some basses sound like. Um, but mostly his voice is kind of used to elevate the production throughout the entire song. And it was decent. I actually want to hear what the live version of this is and kind of want the Redeemers to give us a little bit more information um, just because it seems deep. Um, and I know with K-pop and stuff, even when you see like a little Bible verse or kind of something, once you kind of hear two or three more reasons why something, everything kind of starts to click. And, you know, I don't even know if all the tracks is on the album, what the album is about and where this kind of fits in. But that's why we got y'all. Um, anything else you want to add? I liked it. Me too. Jump in the comments. Tell us how y'all feel about this. Hit that subscribe button and become a real redeemer today. We're going to jump into the live version of this now. Jump on the Patreon. We love you guys. We're going to holler at y'all. Love y'all. Peace. Bye.